All right, one of the things we love doing is introducing Pickleball to new players, and we found a whole bunch of these new players on TikTok. What is TikTok, you ask? Well, you don't even really need to know. It's, it's like a video sharing app, okay? But you don't have to have TikTok to enjoy ours. All right, Pickleball player review. Let's take a look at this kid. All right, uh, let's take a look at his stance overhaul. Does he look ready to hit this ball? Looks not too bad. A pretty athletic stance. Oh, he's a lefty. Two hand and four hand on the left hand side. I like it. I like the paddle of the Selkirk Invicta. Old school. Look at him go. That is good, solid contact from the three year old. Uh, nine out of 10. Here's an activity you can use to challenge your pickleball skills. This is a baseline ground stroke rally, so players have to let the ball bounce before they hit it. The goal is to keep the ball going on half of the court only and to send the ball deep enough that each player can hit the ball from on or behind their own baseline. The ball's got to have enough speed, spin, and height to get the right distance. It's a good way to challenge your skills and be sure to use forehands and backhands. Pickleball. Quite a few times. 50 times? More. 100 times? More. 200 times? More. 500 times. Probably. Over. All right, nice example of a rules question. Is he allowed to be standing in this position when he hits the serve the way he does? What do you think, legal or illegal? Tell me why. Okay, pickleball fans, here's a mistake that often happens at the intermediate level. Watch the guy on the right in the orange. He looks to come forward and intercept this ball, which is great, except he thoughtlessly steps in the non-volley zone after hitting it. Oh, no. Right, pickleball players, this is the chainsaw serve. The player uses the handle of the paddle, pulling back on it, making that ball have top spin before the guy even hits it. Extra spin, extra challenge. Here's a quick tip about pickleball that you don't often hear. The more advanced the players, the more steps they take. Look at all these little tiny adjustment tips by Lee Waters and daughter Anna Lee Waters. That's why they're two of the best little steps help you set up well for the ball. What I love about this point is that it shows how athletic you need to be if you want to play pickleball at a high level. Sure, you can be slow and not very mobile and still play pickleball, but if you want to play well like these guys, well, you got to be able to move. One of the important ways that singles pickleball is different from doubles pickleball is that in singles you typically look to drive the third shot, hit it hard and low. Why is that? Well, your opponents are at the net all by themselves, just one person. So try to blast it by them. If you're not able to do that because the ball you receive is too low or you're out of position or you're off balance, okay, well, then maybe you've got to play a third shot drop just like you would in doubles, but it's not preferable. Instead, try to rip that ball on that third shot. You either get a clean winner or an opportunity. Heads up, pickleball nerds. Here's a great example of solid defense. Watch the player in blue getting picked on. He withstands the pressure by keeping the ball low and hard to attack. And when his opponent tries to surprise him with speed, he's ready to counter-attack. Oh yeah, 